guys and welcome to my youtube channel friends with me this excited about today's video because I'll be sharing with you how I got my children to eat beans. You agree with me that beans is not most children's favorite, but beans happens to be my children's favorite food. They love beans and can eat it all day with so much pleasure. The question you want to ask me is, do they eat any kind of beans? No, they don't. Nigerian beans? Never. Every time I prepare Nigerian beans for them, they say to me, mommy, I don't want Nigerian beans. No matter how I try to encourage them to eat it, they always refuse. In fact, at the sight of it, they are saying, No, mommy, I don't want Nigerian beans. I also notice any time I give them the processed beans, it's as if you made a day. The way they eat it and enjoy it makes me wonder why processed beans? Every time I ask them, every time I ask them, Why do you like processed beans? This is what they say, Mommy, because it's yummy. Then I'll say, Nigerian beans is yummy too. They will reply, but I don't like it. The truth is, I personally love beans, so I cook it all the time. And coupled with its nutritional values, you agree with me that beans is full of fiber, is one of the highest sources of protein. It is a good source of antioxidants. It contains minerals, it is a source of choline, and a lot more benefits. I really don't have issues with the processed beans other than it being processed. As an intentional parent, I don't believe in forcing children to eat, especially when I know the long-term effect it has on the child. Every now and then, I ask myself, how do I get my children to eat Nigerian beans? I believe an intentional parent is a thinker, so I started thinking. I gave it time to see if they would change their mind. So anytime I prepare beans, I offer it to them. Even though I know perfectly well they aren't going to eat it. This kept on until one day. So I was thinking about the beans and how to get them to eat it. I just heard a voice from the bean that says, prepare it like the processed beans. I was a bit confused as to what does that mean? How do I prepare Nigerian beans like the processed beans? I started thinking again. Use Nigerian stew to make it look like the processed beans. Immediately, I became very happy. I gave it a try. First, I prepared the beans, usually the brown one. I made it a little bit watery, like the processed beans. Then got my yummy stew, mixed the beans together with plenty stew. This time around, I knew they loved me, so I added meat, presented it to them. The first question on my asked was, Mommy, is this Nigerian bean? I replied, what does it look like? She said, I don't know. It was obvious she wasn't sure because she was just staring at it. So I said, you want to try it? She said, okay. Why good? He said, Oma, let's try it. For him, the meat was the attraction. That was how they ate and ate and ate and finished the one I served them and asked for more. Why they were eating? Oma said, Mommy, this beans is yummy. I replied, Thank you. Do you like it? Yes, Mommy. Why good? He was like, Mommy, you are the best cooker. I said, Thank you. And corrected him to say, Cook. Dear parents, as of today, my children are intentionally asked for Nigerian beans. And the good thing is, they will gladly eat it for any meal. The last processed beans I bought was giving up because they didn't want it anymore. In fact, beans was our dinner last night and it was so much fun eating it together as a family. Dear intentional parents, your case might not be beans or food. It might be behavioral change you expect from your child. Remember, your parenting journey is completely different from mine. So what works for you might not work for me because our factors are not the same. Parenting is the same principle all over the world for different methodology. Whatever it is that you want from your child, remember the use of force is never a solution. Sometimes all you need to do is sit back and think. It is in your thinking why my approach is not working that you can find solution. Again, there is no excuse for you not to give your parenting your best because there's always a way out to any difficult situation. Dear parents, tell me, have you ever wanted a child to eat certain food and the child refused? How did you do it? What did you do? How did you manage it? You might even say, oh, my case is not food, but I want my child to change certain habits. What's that habit? How are you helping your child to change? Remember, we are all in here together to learn from each other. So please, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section. Remember to like this video, share it. 
others can see it. Have you subscribed to my channel yet? What are you waiting for? Please hit the button now and turn the notification button on so that whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to see it. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye bye.